Hey, what's up, guys? Jays are dead here. Just wanted to start off by saying um, the original uh, beginning of this video kind of got um, lost. My battery had died on my laptop. So um, the midsole stuff that you see I had already did. Um, and then my computer had died. So um, we're going to basically start off with the upper um, in this video. And I do apologize for that. Um, as you can see, I'm just basically going to lasso the uh, entire upper um, so that we can change the color of it. Originally, I uh, lassoed the entire upper, but um, the toe box, because it's so dark, it wouldn't, um, it just didn't translate to white as well. So I kind of needed to do the toe box separately because it was going to take um, a different uh, way to change the uh, color of it. And I mean, you'll see where basically I end up. Um, completely changing the texture on the toe box just uh, so you didn't see that because it's I mean it's, it's suede on the actual shoe so basically um, turning black suede into white is just a horrible um, thing you know that you have to do so basically I am going to do what I have to do to take away that texture so it doesn't look horrible and you'll see where I'm trying all of these different methods on trying to get the toe box right and it wasn't really working. So after we lasso the entire upper, we basically in a copy and paste that um, layer. And now I always turn down the saturation and I um, lighten it up a little bit. So the black is has a slight tint of gray to it, and that way um, you're able to manipulate that black a little better. Um, you don't want to lighten it up too much because then you'll start to lose the detail in the um, textures. Like you see the mesh, if you go too light with the um, the lightness, you're just gonna wash out the uh, the uh, mesh upper, and you're not gonna have a, a realistic um, rendering. So. You'll see here, basically, I'm trying all these different methods to, uh, you know, manipulate it to white. And it was definitely not easy. Um, and actually saying that, this was one of the more challenging um, edits that I've done um, recently. They're usually not this hard. I usually don't have to um, manipulate a black, a completely black shoe. So, um, you, you know, this one was definitely tough, but... The results are good, and obviously the um, reception and feedback that I got were um, great as well. And, you know, not that anyone's commenting on the Photoshop skills, but they are commenting on the shoe. So as long as you're getting the result that you want, you know, you, you can't really be mad. Next up, you see the mesh, uh, the, the color, or not the color, but just the balance of it isn't right. Like, it's just not pure white. So, basically, I'm going to have to end up lassoing the mesh and manipulating that separately. Because the, the rubber, you know, it's just kind of like a flat, solid black, and it's easier to turn white. But because of the mesh details and the lace details you know, you're going to have to end up basically manipulating those separately. Like, you can see where I've lost a lot of the uh, the shadowing on the on the um, laces because everything was black. So how do you know, you know, the, compu the computer doesn't know to leave the shadows there but make the rest of it white. So, you know, now you're going to have to basically manipulate it to look as realistic as possible. So here... I'm just going to map out or lasso out the laces and then eventually I'm going to do um, the mesh upper as well. So 
so I got the laces close to, um, I guess, the best that I think that I could get them. Because, um, again, you will lose a lot of that definition, trend, you know, going from black to white. And next up, I'm going to um, do the mesh. And it was only on the left shoe that really needed it, like the white, you know, it's only the back of it. So you could get away with leaving it like that. But here, I just defi definitely needed a little bit more control um, with this mesh upper. And normally, like if you change in a whole shoe to, uh, to one, you know, to one color, you, you normally don't even have to do all of this. But because of there were so many different textures and um you know the shadowing you you definitely needed to uh map these out separately in this in this instance now i'm going to work on the swoosh on the side um i didn't i didn't want this to have a color i just wanted it to be white um you know cuz the midsole was such a, a a contrasting color that I feel like the the swoosh just wasn't really needed um, in color and I don't even know why it was still like that light pinkish color because we turned down the saturation on that whole upper so it, it was very strange to me but you know it's not hard to just you know turn turn it down turn it back to white and um, I also noticed the first time that I did this you see where I'm um, lassoing that little section on the upper. Um, it just it looked like it was scuffed up or something, and it's just because of it being black and, and the way that it transferred to white. So basically, I just took the paint tool and have it down on a super low um, opacity and just op opacity. Wow, um, and I just painted over it to make it a solid color like the rest of the um, upper um, so you see what I'm doing here you can tell it just looks cleaner next up we're gonna be doing this midsole hit um, we gotta basically whiten it up to replicate the um, OG midsole you know it looks black here so you know we just gonna lasso it just to make it uh, white Next, we got the um, the rear or the back of the um, outsole, the clear part. You can just tell it has a hint of um, yellowing. So, you know, I just wanted to, like, you could, I don't know, maybe you, you could see it more because maybe it's a white shoe. But when it was black, you couldn't really tell, I feel. So, anyways, I just wanted to clear it up a little bit so it didn't look as aged. And, you know, it's as simple as just turning down the saturation a little bit. Like, you don't want it to be just pure gray. So, you want to leave a little bit of that blue hint. But you also want to get rid of that yellow hint. So, you'll see that I just turned it down a little bit. And it drastically changed the um, outsole of it. Next um, is the midsole, and I had already did this obviously um, before my uh, battery had died in the video had ended, but I could tell that the um, the two infrared parts that I had that I had did separately they weren't exactly um, matching because one was already infrared and then the other was black. So to manipulate them to look the exact same. You kind of got to make sure the white under layer is the same on both. So here, I'm basically just going through and trying to get the colors to match um, better. Because if you if you look towards the back, the uh, back part of the um, infrared, like that goes over the uh, airbag, it just was slightly different. And I mean, it looked better. It had more definition because it was naturally infrared. Um, 
So here, I'm just cleaning it up. Um, you know, you got some some um, bits that just, you know, they're, they're a little bit too much um, of the layer. They're going over the black or whatever. So I'm just trimming it um, just to get, you know, to look as accurate and uh, clean as possible. And that's basically the shoe, you know, it's all um, done. So now it's just touching up everything. So I'm basically turning down um, the opacity on a lot of it because it's super white next to the, you know, the black background. So I wanted it to just look a little bit more realistic. Like if you took that photo, that shoe isn't going to be that white next to the black background, you know. So you just kind of wanted to make it look like it's a real picture you know what I mean like basically you want it to be as photo realistic as possible so turning down the opacity a little bit just makes it look not that start of a contrast um, so that's basically what I'm doing here only thing left now is basically saving it so i'm just looking it over real quick and then i'm going to um go into saving it so i'll you know i kind of space it down or I, I make the image a little smaller so i can actually view the whole thing in the vi in the film um and yeah so i'm just turning off some stuff you know checking it out i got rid of my source image um which i always use now i always merge down the visible stuff or merge down the layers sorry and um look it over and you know i'll see right here actually this was one of the last things i did where i decided to um get rid of that little i, I mean i don't know what you i, I know what it is but it's kind of hard to uh describe what you would call it but it's basically just um removing some of the the layer that was on the toe box originally it just didn't tra it didn't translate as well in the white so i was just like you know what let me get rid of it and you know it's a photoshop and it's not real so obviously i can kind of do things i can make it as clean as i want it to be Now my last um, thing that I was going to do was actually, I was going to take the entire white upper and basically copy and paste the upper again just so I could turn down the whole saturation of the white upper, if that makes any sense. Like again, like I was saying, you want to turn down the opacity a little bit just so it doesn't look so white and so, now I don't want to say pristine, but you just don't want it to be so damn white on that black background that it just looks not real. So I feel personally that turning down the opacity a little bit overall will give you a more realistic photo. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to take the entire white upper and turn down the saturation to black. But before I did that, I copied that entire layer. So basically what I'm doing is I'm making a bottom layer black. So when I copy and paste that same layer that I took, when I turn down the opacity, 
you're going to have an underlying layer that's black. So you kind of, when you turn down the opacity, the layer underneath is kind of showing through. So it's just going to make it more realistic in my eyes. And this is basically what Photoshop is. It's manipulating a photo. So to get the results, you know, there's many different ways to get the results you want. But this way kind of worked for me. And it's kind of the way, um, you know, I guess it's just my method that I, I use. So after doing that, I'm pretty much ready to tag it. You know, and um, as you can see, I've been basically tagging everything in the same right right hand corner bottom corner you know um and that's you you know that's what i do turn down the opacity so it's not super um visible you know you still i'm basically um ghosting you know my 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 um font at this point just so it's not so bright and you know i don't want it to be a focal point at all you know um maybe I don't know. I just, you know, it doesn't need to be super bright, but you want it to be there. And again, I always tag my, my shoe. Like, I, I always put my tag on it as well. And if you look what I just did, I changed the bottom tag to black. Because, I don't know why, it, it's been doing that. But it automatically changes the other font layer to the new color that you pick. So I ended up having to go back and um, rechanging my bottom font back to white. But I just find a, a low key place to put my um, Jays Are Dead uh, font on on the shoe, just in case someone, if someone actually did crop out the you know the the lower part part of my name on the on the on the image, I still have the actual shoe tag. And I mean, it probably don't help because. You can't really see it unless you're looking, but at least I know that it's still tagged, and if I needed to fight that it's my image, I could still point out where it is, you know? So it's just kind of a, an Easter egg that I do. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, you know, all you do next is uh, save it. You know, name it whatever the hell you want. And, you know, only you're going to see the name typically. Because when you post it, you know, online, it doesn't, you know, no one sees the name. Name it whatever you want. Make sure your quality's all the way up. Save it to your desktop, wherever you want to save it. And that's it. Appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Stay safe. Peace.